You all know the scientific method, right? You know? Well, I grew up in a scientific community. <laughs> from my from my parents to my immediate environment to the school that I went to. Hardcore science was ingrained in me. And that means a lot because it actually influenced a lot of my decision making. It actually had an impact in my life. I believe in hardcore facts. I, I really am a firm believer of the quantitative approach. If it can't be explained by science, maybe I'm going to give it a second thought. That's me in a nutshell. And um, pretty much that also says a lot about me as well. I'm kind of I'm not really resistant to change, but rather I believe that I need to give change a chance. At least keep an open mind in things, on things, and uh, and just keep an open mind. If it can be proven, then great. I'm gonna believe it. Stating that, people will find it actually weird that I'm watching tarot readings on a daily basis like if you're gonna look at my youtube feed you're gonna see their legal legends music videos and tarot readings <laughs> which is beyond me and i can't believe that you know at this age i can actually change well as long as you're alive right change is actually gonna happen now what I'm trying to point out here is not that I can change, but rather, yeah, maybe it is change. <laughs> but the thing is, I actually believe that I have an internal locus of control, meaning whatever it is, whatever aspect in my life, I have actually overt control over things. And if I can't control things in my life, things kind of spiral out of control and, you know, it's kind of chaotic and my brain just goes haywire. So if I can't explain it, if it doesn't seem logical to me, if it's incomprehensible for me, that is going to throw me off balance. Versus people who have an external locus of control and they actually believe in, you know what, whatever happens, it's gonna happen. Or in the Filipino saying, bahala na si Batman. Those kind of things you will seldom hear from me because I really think that I can influence whatever part of my life into being. I can coax anything into existence. Okay, I'm not, <laughs> I don't have a God complex or anything. It's just that. You know, if I will it, something's going to happen out of it. That's my belief. And romantic endeavors is not, you know, it, it is not spared. I really thought before that, you know, if I just put myself out there, if I apply myself out there, and if I just, you know, went out and introduced, hey guys, my name's Jess, and, you know, love me or hate me. <laughs> things are gonna happen that's what I really thought before and I don't know why but maybe it has something to do with <laughs> the tarot readings or maybe it's just my attitude about things now that is is really different now I go by <laughs> it's it's just totally different before I I actually have this firm belief on that line from the poem Invictus. I am the captain of my ship. I am the master of my soul. From that line to divine timing, not your ego's timing. It's like a total 180 of how I look at things. I'm not saying that now I have an external locus of control. Believe me, I still believe that I can control things. But rather now, Instead of being this, you know, wall, <laughs> you know, you can actually uh, bump, you know, butt heads with, but still won't, you won't be able to actually throw it off. Now, I believe I'm a little bit of like a cushion. 
throw an idea at me. Maybe it's going to bounce back. Maybe I'm going to just absorb it. We don't know. It's just funny how things are happening right now. Things that I really didn't think are thought of that I'll be saying, I'm saying. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say here is, you know what? Things can definitely change. All you need to do is just be receptive to the idea first. Change doesn't happen overnight. But at least acknowledge the fact that there is something there. Don't close your doors at it at the get-go or right away. Just try to be receptive. And you're going you're to be surprised at how much it can actually change for the better. So yeah, <laughs> it's one of those days that I woke up again in the middle of the night and I got this churning thoughts in my head. I just had to let it out. But I hope you guys are having a good, or I hope you guys will have a great Friday morning. It's past 12. <laughs> it's Friday. So from us, from Standards and me, say bye-bye. Ciao!